Hi friends! As is true with everything this year, the 4th of July just isn't quite the same. I know at our house we are missing the street fair and the fireworks and the parade and the rides in front of our house and the food. I especially like the stromboli. But most of all, we're missing our family and friends who would normally gather for the celebration. And so, as we've been doing, we continue to remember fondly, to adjust our expectations, and to find new and different ways to celebrate. Today, I thought it might be nice to spend some time praying for our country. So, I invite you to join me in a few moments of prayer. Holy God, creator of the universe and father of all humankind, Thank you for our country and its people. Thank you for our rich diversity of climates and landscapes, cultures, and ethnicities. Thank you for our freedoms and all who secure them. Thank you for our blessings and our responsibility to share them. Spirit of wisdom, move in the hearts and minds of our leaders from the president and Congress, to governors and legislatures, to mayors and city councils. Give them wisdom to discern the common good and the will to work for it. Spirit of truth, discipline our minds to speak, tweet, post, and consume that which is true and that which is beneficial to building up rather than whatever rant that comes to our mind or hurtful words that we can never take back. Compassionate Christ, encourage those who are working to heal the wounds and injustices of our society, those who feed the hungry, those who care for the stranger, alien, and outcast, those who teach children, those who protect citizens, those who work to change systems and attitudes of prejudice and oppression. Reconciling Christ, bridge the gap between urban and rural, black and white, the employed and unemployed, the haves and the have-nots, the political left and right, the powerful and the weak. Renewing God, pour out your spirit upon every congregation of your church in this nation and around the world. Uphold leaders and encourage members so that we will be both bold and brave and humble and kind. Forgive us, Lord, for the ways that we have failed you and each other. The list is long. We do not take forgiveness for granted. We commit ourselves to making our church, our community, our country, and our world a place where grace, mercy, and peace abound. We commit ourselves to build your kingdom on earth as it is in heaven, as Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us, not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Amen.